All right, welcome back with the Petty Brothers, Timmy, Mark, and Richie. Today we're going to head back into 1971 when R.J. Reynolds come into NASCAR racing. And it was these two guys here that we grew up with. We have a lot of respect for. And I think they, they need to get a lot more recognition in the world of racing. And they, and they used to, but I don't know if these new guys just don't understand what they did. But Ralph Seagraves and T. Wayne Robertson were two good friends of our family. You got any good stories on Ralph and Wayne, Timmy? Well, uh, the biggest thing is that, that when I attempted to race myself, they both came down <laughs> for my, I don't know, trial your, run, I guess. Debut. And I mean, I didn't really probably think of the significance of it then, but they were some heavy hitters. They were 10 or 12 years into the deal already, and both of them come down there. I think just more to poke fun at me than anything, but you know, uh, uh, Daddy and Wayne was really big buddies, and and Ralph, um, gosh, he was just, to, to me, he was up here, you know. Oh, yeah. And we always heard stories about Ralph and Ardette, and, but, uh, yeah. Um, I think the thing when Daddy and Wayne met, because Winston got involved in 71, and they were big in promotional and stuff like that, and they came to the Petties to build a show car. And they built the first Winston show car in the Petty Shops. And Wayne Robertson, he was the first guy to ride around with and, and drive the show car around. And there's a story in one of these books here of Wayne talking about showing up down here, having to get something tuned up on the, on the car or something. And he's showing up and he was nervous already because he's coming to the Petties. And... Uh, Daddy was kind of gruff, like I ain't got time to fool with that. Yeah, that sounds like a normal <laughs> it, situation. It was good, and then that's got our name on it. You need to get that cleaned up. And when Wayne says, "Man, the car was immaculate," I mean, Winston, they, they kept it just clean. Daddy was just looking, but he said that led to a a lifelong, a, a lifelong friendship yeah. for the rest of their lives together. So. Well, uh, you, you know, and I'm probably moving too far forward, but I know we went to Wilkesboro one time, and it was one of them frog strangler rains. We all drove up there, and Wayne lived somewhere in between here and Wilkesboro, and so they rained it out. Was you know how you, you went up there and you sat around and waited. NASCAR had called it till following day or whatever. So he had invited Daddy back, and we went and ended up eating dinner. And it, the rain had kind of let off, and we was out there splashing around, you know, <laughs> while they were talking, whatever. But I remember that was one of the good things that. Uh, or good experiences but another time I don't know you you go have to help me with this one but you know daddy invited Wayne and his family down to the beach and they come down and that's probably one of the better times or you know it, it's, it engraves in my memory how about I believe you? I was 79 that? what do you know about that more what the beach trip yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just know Wayne and his family was there but you know you know you talk about Ralph and Wayne they they were just to me you know, obviously, like I say, they come in in 71, I was born in 69. To me, they were just friends of the family. And it took me growing up and getting older to appreciate who they really are for the sport. Right. And what yep. they did for the sport. Right. But for us personally, Ralph and his family, and definitely Wayne and his family, uh, Toby, yep. his yep. son, I mean, yep. our, they, we've stayed friends for years, but they were just, they were, if Daddy had a cookout or a pig picking or whatever those guys were it was there. not uncommon but to put them to come but again i mean what what they done for our sport mm. we didn't realize till we got older and when we, we just, had our open houses and stuff they were big and coming down here and setting up all the signs <laughs> bringing cars in helping. well and they did that for all the races they right. would they'd go set up the banners and they, they were always i mean they they advertise in a way that probably has not ever been even equalized or surpassed well, I don't know about the rest there, but they taught our family how to, what marketing was. That's right. And, yep. Right. I mean, Definitely some contributions right. there. We, yeah. we were just old, we were just from Rand, but not, <laughs> nothing bad, but we were, Grandfather our, was our family, good, but the, yeah, but, took but he, he showed us how oh, yeah. to do it, maybe. Right. Or and they, and, I say he, and, they showed us. And I'm us. pretty sure that Ralph was, was instrumental in not only securing that for, for NASCAR, but a lot of times through the years, he would help open the doors to other big corporate sponsors you know for other teams you know not just they were good ambassadors for nascar they would go out and meet with other yeah and convince other companies that this is where you need to put your money in because you're getting a lot of bang for the buck with the tv 
they were but really, they were down home country guys right. and you never suspected but them. they could but they they had vision and they could see things a lot of people couldn't see and they were the first ones to, to come into NASCAR and they built it up till 2000 what 2006 whenever, yeah, whenever, they, whenever they were whenever the last yeah, days yeah. out but they yeah they were Wayne and he died in January of 98 and I believe Ralph died in September of 98 mm. so NASCAR that's when NASCAR took a big loss because them two they, they loved NASCAR racing they, they loved yeah they loved the, it the as teams. much as we did oh they loved it more than we did sometimes one uh, I'm gonna kind of get off that for just one minute but uh, it was my anniversary, mine and Connie's anniversary, and we went to Staley's, which was a big swanky restaurant in Winston, <laughs> probably way out of my <laughs> price point. But it was your anniversary. Yeah, it was my anniversary. <laughs> That's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I walked in, and there sat Wayne, and he was with some other folks. And I, I you know, seen him at other places because he lived up in that area. I seen him at a Chinese place one night. And anyway, he said, hey, Timmy. And I said, you know, we went over and talked to him a little bit, but he was – you know, already well into his dinner. And uh, he said, what are y'all up here for? I said, well, it's our anniversary. And we, you know, we don't ever get to come places like this. We was looking around because it was fancy for us, you know. Yeah. And uh, so we, you know, done our howdy duties and we sat down and Connie and I ate our dinner or lunch or whatever and, and got up to pay and that rascal had already paid for it. And I never, no really, got, I never really got to tell him thank you for that. You know? oh, well, so thank you, Wayne. One thing that Wayne and Ralph that they did that a lot of people don't understand is the grassroots racing. They got into the NASCAR weekly series. They would go to these tracks. They would paint the walls. They'd put up billboards. They pumped a lot of money into local racing, and that brought a lot of good drivers to the ranks. And then they come up to the cup side. They went to these big tracks, and they would paint the walls and fix them up too. Well, they also did a deal where they, they would paint uh, some of the – back marker I, I, don't, I shouldn't say back marker but some of the lesser funded teams independence would, yeah they would paint <laughs> yes they would paint is. their rigs for them you know and, and kind of the winston yeah, colors and whatnot winston sticker but, on it or yeah something. and and then that that was probably and probably helped them with you know some of the repairs on it too just to get those fellows to the races well and that's the thing we talk about them being friends of our family and they were everybody. but they were friends with everybody in the sport yes yeah. and and we've always said that this sport was a family sport. That's but, right. You know, we're talking about when we came through. That's right. Okay, whatever. And we're giving our memories of those guys. Right. And I'm just saying, but we, the, uh, the we're indebted to those guys so much For because sure. they they made they brought they right. brought what our family business was to a new level, and I'll always appreciate. Now, it. I think they brought everybody. Up. And, and there's something that they did. I think it was. 89, 90, they did the Winston Legends. Oh, yeah. And then they come back in 95 and did it. But they had enough respect for the racing. They went back to guys that wasn't in Winston Cup. They were NASCAR Grand National drivers. They still treated them like they were part of them. Founding fathers. Yes. And they when they did that little race yes, over at Charlotte, yeah. Elmo beat them off. Elmo Langley. Kale and Elmo come down to the end there, and I think um, Elmo – I'm going to end up winning it. So that but you a, remember how special that was for Dad that well, weekend? He would be a part of it. Because, you know, he'd, he'd been, he'd been uh, we were racing mm-hmm. in the sports division right, over there. Right. But he'd been away from racing for five or six years. Right. And that and they they brought him back in a little bit right there. And I just remember he was happy and had fun seeing all them. So They brought so many old-timers back. Yeah, it, was, it was a whole crowd of them. It was really neat. But, you know, we were talking about them bringing in different sponsors and different and helping with different things bringing them into sports people don't understand this but ralph seagraves was really a big part of the 7-eleven sit go deal that came into petties he helped put that deal mm-hmm. together you know i know kyle had a big part in it and richard morris was in on it but ralph helped steer some of that money into it and i believe when wayne lost his life in 98 he was helping bring in some sponsors it was on a fishing trip and they had a boat boat accident and he got killed but he was working trying to build the sport even bigger at that time even so, though it was on the tail end of, right. of the winston right uh, rj reynolds sponsorship right. but he um he, he he thought enough about the, the the racing to help build it all up and help all these teams so they they were they were two big heavy hitters and i'm or glad i got a the story run. about the 7-eleven thing you oh I, I just remember being that in it, what was that? Eight, eight, between eighty-two and eighty-three, yeah. Yeah. and obviously there was a 
Dad was under a lot of stress during those times. I was in seventh grade. Two car team and yeah, and, and they were just they were every, everything was they were trying to come up with enough money to run both teams, and so that he I remember him waking me up for school that morning and uh, telling me that we're we're going to make a big announcement today that Seven Eleven is going to come on board to sponsor Kyle and I, I think I've said it in episodes before here. We're talking 1983. <laughs> Kyle's still my guy. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean. He's our yeah. future, and yeah. we're we're ready for this. And that was such a big deal for the whole family. And and um, it, it's pretty cool to hear you say that. You know, Ralph and Wayne and all those guys had a whole lot to do they, with that they were, they were coming in. But I just remember that making Dad happy. But oh yeah, you yeah, know, I, I and, and there's so many memories about that 7-Eleven car. You know, the, the first year they did it, and even on to the second and. It, it it brought back, I mean, it brought a lot of things to the table that we didn't have before here. Yeah. Well, yeah, you were here working then, so you. Oh, I mean, it, and, and, and you know, and, and it, you know, in saying it in jest, they'd always call you know Kyle the B team, a, a team B team, and I was always a B team member. You yeah. know what I mean? And, yeah. But still, you, you didn't really think of it that way. But no, but that that brought everything. That that really that Seven Eleven deal really pushed. Kyle's career forward. For oh sure. yeah, and 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 you know, pretty much put him in the driver's seat, so to speak, for future endeavors. But yeah, I remember too. What, let's go back to Ralph and Wayne. Yeah, we had some tragedies in our families, mm-hmm. and they were always the first ones to be at the front door, offering a helpful hand, a, a loving hand to to help you through some of these problems you were having. And they that's where that's where the friendship was deeper than the sponsorships and all the the racing put that aside they were there when when, and it was when, pure. when our family needed them amen it was i never pure will friendship. forget when when we were all down here pretty much in the same area and they they said they, they come down here and told us about wayne oh, well, and i mean daddy was just instantly oh, turned white because i mean it was one of his good friends you well, know amen yeah I mean, you know, you, we, we talk about Ralph and Wayne. You know, the, we, our family was for just, not just them two. You know, we had Wes B. Ross. That's right. Steve Tucker ended up going to work for Winston, Jeff which is Bird, a great friend of ours. Jeff Bird. Bird. There's a whole lot of oh, people. There, there was a whole crowd of them. Steve dude. Tucker was with STP, and he ended up going to work for Wayne at, at the sports market in there for a while. Absolutely. So we had a lot of good tie-ins with the, with the Winston people. All very, very good friends. And, and I always appreciate the fact that even after Dad got out of racing, that um, they were still friends. Oh, yeah. They'd you always, know what I mean? They, there for for life. Yep. For yep, life, for right. sure. Well, that's a little insight to some of our good friends in racing, and we'll try to bring you some more. But these two guys, they were the heavy hitters with NASCAR racing, and we appreciate everything they did for us. Amen. And tune in and comment and uh, like and subscribe. See you next time.